Hello students, welcome to IE. In this session, we are going to discuss that what will happen if the beta of the transistors are not infinite for a current meter circuit. So let us see that. So previously we have discussed about the basic requirement of a current meter circuit and the requirement we have learned that the two transistors, this Q1, if it is Q1 transistor, and if it is Q2 transistor, both the transistors will be matched or must be matched, then only this circuit will behave as a current meter circuit. And another thing we have also seen in the previous videos that the beta here was assumed to be infinite. Ye infinite hona chahiye tha. Tabhi mera ye current meter circuit ke liye ye I out will be equals to I reference ho raha tha. So let us see what will happen if this beta, if this beta is not inf, is not fine infinite. So that means mera jo requirement tha for these transistors or this circuit to be operated as a current meter circuit. First, ek tha ki mera jo Q1 and Q2 matched hona chahiye. Ye matched hona chahiye. So, if matched hota, so that means beta 1, that is Q1 or Q1 transistor ke liye jo beta hai, that is beta 1, should be equals to beta 2, that will be beta. Now, if this beta, now if this beta is not infinite, matlab finite value hai, magar high value hai. So, that means right now, the beta value is not equals to infinite, but a high value hai. So if it happens, so what will be the I out current? So let us see that. So for that purpose, the first thing we will see, we will note down here, that is let us draw the current components inside the circuit. So here pe mera I reference hai. So let us denote the current here is IC current. So it is IC current. Here pe mera jo current honge, that is IE current and this can be written as यहाँ पे अगर मेरा IB current होता है IB current so IE will be equals to IB plus IC ये मैं लिख सकता हूँ next for the Q2 transistor यहाँ से IC current आएंगे यहाँ पे मेरा IE current होगा और यहाँ पे मेरा IB current होंगे okay so this is IB. So, this IE also can be written as IB plus IC. So, since the Q1 and Q2 are matched, so, dekhiye, mera jo IC current hai, ye wale IC ke saath same honge. IB current same honge, beta value same hai. So, isi liye mene same name use kiya hai. So, that means, iha se mera jo IE current aayenge, that will be the sum up of IC plus IB. Iha pe jo IE current honge, that will be sum up of IB and IC. Now, let us write this I reference. So, what will be the I reference value? So, I reference value may lick sakta hoon yaa pe I reference. So, if I find the I reference, the I reference will be yaa pe dekhi hai ki is direction pe ye B se is direction pe mera IB ja raha hai ye wale direction pe IB. So, that means yaa se jo current jayenge that is 2 of IB. So, I can write the I reference as IC, evil I reference, IC plus 2 IB. So, it will be IC plus 2 of IB. Now, what is this IB? This IB can be written as since the transistors are operated in the active region of operation. So, we can write that IB is equals to IC by beta and beta is a high value but not infinite. So, I can put the value here IC by beta. So, if I put the value, so it will be twice of IC by beta. So, if I take IC common, so here it will be IC 1 plus 2 by beta. So, that means it will come out to be IC into beta plus 2 divided by beta. So, my equation is 
I reference is equals to IC into beta plus 2 divided by beta. ये वाला equation आया हुआ है. So what is this IC? IC is nothing but the I out current. So that means यहाँ पे मेरा आया I out, I out, and it is beta plus 2 divided by beta. So from this equation, I can write the value of I out also. So what will be the value of I out? I out will be beta by beta plus 2 into I reference. So this is the value of the output current with respect to the I reference or input current if my beta value is high. Beta abhi infinite nahi hai. Beta agar infinite hota to ye wala equation nahi aate. Now, let us take some cases. The first case, case number one. Case number one. If the beta value is infinite, so what will happen? So if beta value is infinite, then you can see infinite by infinite. So for that case, I can write that I out value will be equals to I reference value. Ye wale equation se mein sakta hu. Kyunki yahan pe infinite, yahan pe infinite. So I out is equals to I reference. That means you can see that jo pehle hum log ne study kiya tha ki beta agar infinite hoga to mera output current will be the mirror image of the input current. Ohi aara hai. Same thing. So what will be the value? Second case mein jaunga mein. Second case. Second case mein beta agar infinite na hoke high value suppose man lije 100. So if beta is equals to 100 then from this equation what will be the value of I out? So I out value can be written as 100 divided by 100 plus 2 means 100 to into I reference. If you divide this it will come out to be 0.98 of I reference. So you can see when beta is very very high but not infinite then the output current will not be exactly equal to the I reference. It will be nearly equals to 0.98 of I reference. Similarly for the case 3, case 3 if the beta value is 50 suppose if the beta value is 50 then beta value agar 50 hoga to mera jo I out hoga I out. That will be 50 divided by 52 into I reference. So 50 divided by 50 plus 2 means 52 and it will come out to be 0.96 of I reference. So of, you can see that pehle beta 100 tha, to 0.98 of I reference tha, beta fit decrease hua, mera 0.96 of I reference ho gaya. Similarly, if we go for the another value of beta suppose let us take a very small value beta 5 beta 5 so beta 5 ke liye mera kya hoga ki mera jo i out value honge that i out value aapke paas aayega 5 divided by 7 5 divided by 5 plus 2 7 so it will be i reference so it will come out to be if you divide this it will come out to be 0 0.714 of i reference so you can see that if beta value is decreasing, so the I out value, jo mera equals to tha beta infinite ke liye, beta 100 ke liye ho gaya 0.98, theta 50 ke liye ho gaya 0.96, beta 5 ke liye ho gaya 0.714. So, the, this formula, this formula is valid or it is the general expression of the output current of the current mirror circuit if the beta value is not infinite. Beta ka koi bhi value ke liye main ye use kar sakta hu. So in this way we can calculate the output current from a current mirror circuit having beta very high value. Thank you.